Hey Cloud Gamers, today we have got something very special. A complete overview of all of the current cloud gaming platforms, services and systems available right now. I'm going to start doing this a little bit more frequent as there is so much to talk about. We're going to have to give you an overview so you can find out what the best system for you to play in the cloud is going forwards. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of each one, diving straight in then with Google Stadia. Google Stadia was launched on our screens in November last year, so it's coming up to a year old now. It does have a free tier version, but you do need to buy the games to play. It is what we call a cloud console, and it's probably the only service that's a full package right now. There is a paid tier of £9 a month or $9.99 in dollars where you do get a bunch of free games as part of that pro subscription and there are currently over 20 free games for you to play. There is no game installation, no downloads, no updates to worry about. You can also play on PC and Mac. iOS is not currently supported. You can play on Android though and TV via the Chromecast Ultra or sideload on Android TV although it's not the greatest. It does support 1080 60 frames per second as well as 4K 60 for supported games as long as you have that pro subscription. It is available in Europe and North America and there is currently no wait time for sign up. GeForce Now is a service that lets you play your own games anywhere. Now you do have to purchase your games via the relevant stores so epic steam etc and only the games that are supported via geforce now via the publisher opting in are available via this service there is a free tier but it only allows you one hour gameplay and you obviously have to queue for that free tier there is a paid tier of the founders which is 4.99 a month at the moment they have said that this is going to go up and it's going to go up to most likely 9.99 However, there is a special deal at the moment with Hyperscape that you can buy six months up front for £25 or I think it's about $30 and you also get a season one battle pass for Hyperscape as well. So yes, you do have to buy games, but you have to buy them on the relevant platforms. You can't buy them through GeForce now. There is no installation or updates. You can play on PC, Mac and Android iOS is not supported still for TV. You can play via Shield TV. The service is only 108060 at present, but they are looking at providing higher res in future. However, 4K60 is achievable via the Shield TV Pro with the upscaling from the 1080. It is available in Europe and North America, and there's currently no waiting time for memberships. Xbox Game Pass Cloud, or X Cloud as we used to call it, the name of this will probably be spun around for quite a while, but I think at the moment it's now kind of Xbox Cloud. Or Xbox game streaming. This is the latest offering from the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription. There is no free tier available, you do have to have Game Pass Ultimate which is $11.99 in the UK or I think it's about $14. You can't buy the games, there are no free games, it is all in this part of the subscription. I'm talking specifically about the X Cloud or this cloud streaming part of Game Pass here. Obviously with Game Pass Ultimate, you do have the ability to install games on PC if you have the PC Ultimate version or onto your console. But xCloud or the game streaming or cloud side of Xbox Game Pass is not currently available on PC or Mac or iOS, but you can play it on Android and officially TV is not supported, but you can sideload it onto Shield TV, for example, or Android TV. It is not even 108060 at present. The stream Streaming is only 720p, but it is available in Europe and North America. At the moment, this is more of a bolster to the existing Game Pass service and not really a competitor in the full cloud space right now. We have a new kid on the block, which is Luna. Amazon Gaming has finally showed their hand into the gaming market. We don't know a great deal about this apart from what's been shown so far. But it does not look like there's going to be a free tier unless it's part of the Prime TV or Prime bundling in future. There is a paid tier, the base tier is Luna Plus at $5.99 and you can add on additional channels like they are touting the Ubisoft or Uplay Plus channel but there is no price associated with that yet. You won't need to buy games as it's part of that subscription so there are no real free games either. 
but you won't need to do that install or update process as it's a full cloud streaming service. It will be available on PC and Mac and they will provide iOS support via the browser. TV will be via Fire TV and they are saying that Android support is coming post launch. So it's quite strange that Luna is going to give iOS access first and make Android users wait for a change. It will be 1080 60 and they are saying that 4K 60 will be supported in future and for specific games but it is not going to be available at launch. It's not even available to try in Europe and North America is currently invite only. We were expecting a October November kind of release for this but we have no real news on its availability right now. Vector Dash is a kind of crossover service. This allows you to play games using basically the Amazon Web Services model and is only really available in Europe right now. There is no free tier and the best paid tier is around £20 per month or €20 Euros a month. You do have to buy your games but you cannot buy them through the service. You have to buy them via the Epic stores, Steam, etc. There's no free games. It uses Parsec to access virtual machines and therefore it does limit some of the stuff that you can do but you do get full access to that PC if you want to. So if you don't use the library you can install games but you will lose all progress and installation as soon as you shut that machine down. PC and Mac are supported using the Parsec client but iOS is not. Android can be but there will be no TV support here. However, Parsec does support 108060 and 4K60 as well. There's no wait time as it's just a sign up and play, but it is a bit of a strange system overall. Boosteroid is gaining in popularity and they are looking to expand their servers and services across the globe. Currently, they are really only based in Europe, but they are expanding to North America and further across Europe in the coming months. Boosteroid uses your browser to access virtual machines with pre-installed games, but you only have the selection of games that they present to you. However, it is quite a big selection or library at this time. There is no free tier. The paid tier can be expensive at £10 or $10 a month. They do offer a $60 or £60 annual pass, which makes that only £5 a month and is quite a bargain. You can't buy the games through the platform, but you do have to buy them from the relevant stores as with others. And they don't offer any free games as part of the package. Because it's using those pre-installed games library, you don't have to worry about installs or updates. And because it's using your browser, it is available via PC, Mac and Android and even iOS through the Safari browser with a game controller. It does support 108060, but it does not support 4K, but there is no wait time on signups. Shadow PC is probably one of the well-known virtual PC clients, and it is a full virtual PC, so there is a little bit of a difference between the other cloud services. There is no free tier, it is all paid tier. The boost tier starts at $12.99 per month, and you can upgrade your rigs in future if they become available. It is a full blown PC, so you do have to maintain it as such. So you have to install your game clients and purchase your games via the virtual stores, etc. And you will have to install and update your machine as well as the games themselves. The client is supported on PC, Mac, iOS and Android and even Android and Apple TV. It does support 108060 and 4K60 as well. It is available in Europe and North America. But currently, depending on your area, the wait time for activation is between one and four months. I believe if you are in Northern Europe, that's currently pegged around February 2021. But you do need to keep an eye on their website for all of the latest on activation. Maximum Settings is a Canadian based provider, again, providing a whole host of virtual PCs for gaming. There is no free tier. It is a paid tier but there's a bit of a difference between maximum settings and shadow where it is a cost per hour. The cost depends on the rig that you purchase and can range from 50 Canadian cents per hour to 1 Canadian cents per hour for the top end 2080 super rig that they have at present. You will have to buy your games and install and maintain the machine as well as the games as it is a full virtual PC. But because it uses the Moonlight client, it does support PC, Mac, iOS and Android, as well as Android and Apple TV. The clients do support 108060 and 4K60 as well, but technically it's not available in Europe, although they are coming to Europe in future. 
They are based in Canada, so it's all going to depend on your ping to your maximum settings. For example, I know that some people in the US only get 5 to 10 milliseconds ping. From the UK, I get around 90 to 100 milliseconds. But because I use an RTX rig and Moonlight dials directly into game stream, for most games that lag is barely noticeable and it is a very powerful machine. So it's definitely one that you should try, even to if you're going to dismiss it because of latency alone. Firepower Cloud is one of the newer virtual PC clients coming into the scene. They are currently only in the UK, but again, check your ping. You may be surprised, especially around Europe. And depending where you are in North America, you might get a good connection, but do try their ping tests before you subscribe. They do not have a free tier, and the pay tier is fairly expensive. The gaming rig it is £30 per month. However, there are no usage limits and no shutdowns or auto shutdowns, so you could run this box 24-7 if you wanted to. You will have to buy your games and install and maintain those games as well as the machine as it is a full virtual PC. It comes with a RTX 2060, although the website says that it's a 1080 GTX or better at the moment. They have stopped rolling out lower rigs and are only rolling out RTX 20. 60s or above in future because it's using the nvidia cards you do have that moonlight streamer once again so you do have support across pc mac ios and android as well as android and apple tv the 2060s on the moonlight streamer are more than capable of pushing out 1080 at 60 and as well as 4k 60 frames per second however they have currently closed their doors to activations and will be reopening for pre-orders starting in october thanks for watching guys it's a lot of services that are run down today but do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest across all cloud gaming platforms and i will see you next time